Hey screen printers, welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by LearnHowToScreenPrint.com. Today's video, we're going to show you how to print some t-shirts. For this process, we're going to be using CMYK printing on a white underbase. We're going to show you how to do this on a white t-shirt and a dark color t-shirt. So for the white t-shirt, we'll be using no underbase, but the dark gray t-shirt, we will be using an underbase. Check it out. True process printing, CMYK. Let's get busy printing. All right, so the first shirt we're gonna do today is a white t-shirt. We're gonna do the CMYK, no flashing. We'll go ahead and load that on the press. There we are. So when you're doing CMYK, the uh, color order that you print in is actually uh, YMCK. It's CMYK, but you're printing in yellow, magenta, cyan, black. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drop the yellow screen down here. We're using a 305 mesh triple durometer squeegees. There's yellow. Got the magenta. Wet on wet. 305 mesh triple durometer squeegees. Cyan, same thing. 305 mesh, triple durometer squeegees, one pass on each one of those, wet on wet. Last one here is black, triple durometer squeegee, 305 mesh, one hit. There we go. That's a CMYK, true process print on a white t-shirt there. Very vibrant. All right, we're gonna go ahead and run that through the conveyor. Okay, this next shirt we're gonna do here, it's an athletic gray Heather shirt. Load that on the press. And for the athletic Heather gray, we're gonna use a white underbase. Also printed through a uh, 305 mesh. Excuse me, that's the highlight white. Let's spin that around. All right. Got a triple durometer squeegee. Got white ink here, 305 mesh. Got a white underbase. Give this a quick flash. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's go on with the yellow. 305 mesh, triple durometer squeegee. One stroke. Magenta, 305 mesh. One stroke, triple durometer squeegee, cyan, 305 mesh, triple durometer, one stroke, and lastly, black. All right, not bad, but we're going to go ahead and flash this one last time, and then we're going to use a highlight white and spin this on over to the flash. Give that a quick flash. Perfect. All right, last screen here. 305 mesh, triple durometer squeegee, highlight white. There you have it. True process printing on an athletic Heather. We've got six screens here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw this on the conveyor here. Send that through to cure. Uh, for the true process sinks, just regular plastisol, so it needs to reach 320 degrees to fully cure. All right, last shirt we're going to do here is a black t-shirt. Throw that here on the pallet. Get that straightened out. Smooth it out. Okay, so for the black shirt, it's going to be similar to the athletic Heather Gray. 
We're gonna use a, a white underbase. Uh, the only difference is we're gonna print flash print the white underbase. Give that a couple good strokes. 305 mesh, triple durometer squeegee. Give that a quick flash. There we are, a lot brighter, very opaque. Flash that one more time. Perfect, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and lay down the yellow ink. Magenta. Cyan, and lastly, black. Looks good. We're going to flash it though and hit it one last time with the highlight white. Got a quick flash. These uh, True Process Plastol inks, they do flash very fast and uh, low tack so all right we're good to go there we are all right screen printers i'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the conveyor all right so the next part of this video i'm going to show you how we separate the CMYK true process uh, separations inside Photoshop. So let's move over to the computer. We'll show you how we did that to create this true process screen printing technique. Come on over. All right, we're here at the computer. Let's jump into Photoshop and show you how to separate this. Okay, so we've got our image open here in Photoshop. Uh, we want to delete the background layer. So we're gonna select the magic eraser tool here and delete the background layer. Uh, looks like we've got a couple pieces left here down there in the font. Let's go ahead and zoom in and delete those. Perfect. Uh, I do wanna mention when you're um, using JPEGs and doing the true process CMYK printing, or uh, any printing, you want to make sure you're using a high resolution image. Um, here we're using a 300 dpi image. Zoom in here, you can see some detail. Anything lower than 300, you run the risk of uh, the print being very pixelated and jagged. So, um, okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and start separating the image. We are using uh, Ultraceps color separation software. So let's um, find the CMYK separation uh, button over here let's see ultraceps does have a, a very wide range of uh, actions that you can use inside photoshop to create your separations here's the process cmyk step to run go ahead and click that and you got a couple messages from uh, ultraceps here Just make sure everything's correct click continue click continue one more time and now ultraceps is beginning to separate the image um, if you look at the channels over here, you can see it is an RGB image. We're going to be separating this into CMYK SEPS run. Um, you can watch the channels and kind of see Ultra SEPS move through the image and uh, separate it here. Um, you know, when you're separating this, it can take anywhere from, you know, 30 seconds up to, you know, a minute or two. Uh, just kind of just depends on the speed of your computer. We're using uh, Photoshop CS6 and uh, we're using a Windows operating system. I think this is Windows 10. Um, the computer is probably a couple years old, so you know it, it does a pretty good job on separating them you know, uh, pretty quickly. And there we have it. So um, uh, over here on the channel, we have uh, each um, channel is a different uh, screen. 
and then up here you have the original RGBs. We're going to delete those. And then we're going to change this shirt background color to uh, something a little bit darker. That way I can um, show you the uh, different channels here. Okay, so there's the yellow process, magenta, cyan, black. And then we've got a couple different uh, highlight white options here. We've got a dark highlight white and then just a regular one. I think I like the regular highlight white better. So let's delete the dark highlight white. And now we're going to delete the black background channel, the shirt color. Okay, so the next step would be to convert each one of these channels into a uh, halftone. And we're going to move on down here to output halftones, no rip. We're going to click the 45 LPI channel here. And now uh, Ultra Steps will, beginning, will begin uh, converting each one of these channels into a half tone. And same thing here, you know, this could take a, a minute or two. Just kind of depends on your computer. Um, but uh, for us, you know, a minute or two to generate the color separations, hey, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, you can visit learnhowtoscreenprint.com to um, check out Ultra Steps. There's a banner there on our website, learnhowtoscreenprint.com. That will uh, you can click, and it'll take you to get a free seven-day trial version of the Ultraceps. Okay, so you now have a message from Ultraceps. Make sure everything's correct. You can zoom in now and uh, check out each different channel. You can see that it is converted into a halftone. So we'll uh, hide the uh, the eye of the other channels there. Let me zoom in here. As you can see. The white underbase that is converted into a um, half tone there. Perfect. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and make these visible again, and we will add the registration marks, and then we will move over to um, print the image and uh, we'll print it to our Epson fourteen thirty printer. All right, our registration marks are added. So let's click File, Print, and we should have a print uh, dialog box open up here. There we go. Okay, so the printer, we're, uh, we're still using AccuRip. We're going to send it through AccuRip into the uh, Epson 1430. And then for the color handling, uh, you just want, definitely want to make sure you're using um, separations. And um, we're going to click uh, description and labels here. That way, um, on each film positive, you will get a description or a, a label of you know whether that be the the white underbase film positive, the yellow, the magenta, cyan, etc. So let's go ahead and click print, and we'll move over to the Epson and uh, show you the uh, film positives as they print out. Get that positioned right. Uh, so these film positives we're using right here, these are 13 by 19. 13 inches wide by 19 inches tall. Um, you know, for the most stuff we print, we usually don't print anything wider than 12. Wider than 12 inches covers, you know, the majority of everybody's chest. And then when you get to printing wider than 12 inches, a lot of times on like uh, the Bell and Canvas t-shirts, you might end up hitting the seams on the smaller t-shirts. So something kind of thinking, you know, to think about um, 13 by 19, that's, you know, pretty middle of the run, uh, film positive views, uh, so. That's what we use here in our shop. All right, let's watch this print on out. All right, so let's take the film positives into the dark room. We will line these up on the screen and go ahead and expose them. Come on over.
there we have it. The t-shirt is fully cured. We've got a very realistic CMYK true process print there. Awesome. So uh, make sure you click to subscribe. Subscribe to our videos uh, and our channel to see more video tips and tutorials on screen printing. And uh, visit learnhowtoscreenprint.com to see all the products we have listed uh, that we use in this video. And until next time, happy printing.